Mr. Wives fans exhausted over repetitive episodes. Hello guys, I am Sabrina. To you, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe the channel and press bell icon for latest news updates. Is Sister Wives season 19 too stale for viewers? This season is several episodes in, and yet many viewers feel as if nothing new has happened. Fans love seeing the ex-wives thrive outside of polygamy, but even they aren't given very exciting storylines. Fans already know that Christine and David got married and that Mary moved back to Utah. And aside from telling Cody their marriage was officially over, Janelle hasn't had many new plot points either. Sister Wives fans are fed up with this season. TLC viewers used to eagerly await new episodes of Sister Wives, but season 19 has left a pretty sour taste in many mouths. Overall, fans find the content completely uninteresting and repetitive. Every episode feels like I'm watching the same episode again, an aggravated Sister Wives viewer wrote on Reddit. Is anyone else feeling like this? Like I feel like I literally am seeing the same thing over and over. I'm genuinely confused as to what the point of these episodes are. Like we know the plot, Christine and David get married, like who cares? It's not new information for anyone. Sister Wives fans don't always see eye to eye, but this topic seemed to have viewers in agreement. Comments included, for the last 19 seasons, this is the slowest show. There's so much filler slash recap slash showing the same one half dozen photos over and over again. Yes, every single one of their seasons have been copying and pasting each other. The recap and what's on next week are pretty much all you have to watch. At this point, we all know Cody is going to say some ridiculous is asterisk asterisk. Robin's going to cry, Christine will go on and on about finding David, Janelle will be the normal one with a voice of reason, Mary will visit an old friend or have one visit her, Mike Kelty and Tony will budge into every fraction of screen time they can get. I don't think I'm missing anything to sum up the last couple seasons. How much longer can the show go on? Sister Wives was once the huge moneymaker on TLC. But over the past few seasons, interest has really declined. Many viewers believe the show is on its last legs. They'll have to breathe new life into the show or do a spin-off of some kind. Many believe that Janelle and Christine have been gearing up for their own spin-off show. But if that is truly in the works, TLC hasn't said anything about it yet. However, Sister Wives, Christine to get a share of Cody and Robin's profit money from sale of $1.6 million Flagstaff home. Cody and Robin Brown have been welcoming a series of changes in their lives lately. First off, the Sister Wives stars put their Flagstaff home from 2019 on sale. Viewers assumed they must be downsizing as most of the spouses left the family, and they don't have as many contributions to run the family but they surprised everyone again by buying a house worth $2 million. Now fans already know the couple has a reputation for not having healthy spending habits, but they ended up getting a profit for the old house they were selling. Well, it looks like none of the profit funds will go directly into their pockets all because of Cody's first ex-wife, Christine. Why does that? How will the former third wife benefit from this? Sister wives, Cody and Christine gearing up to face each other in court child custody battle ahead. It turns out Christine has one minor kid with Cody E, truly brown. She is 13 years old now. When she divorced the polygamist, she wanted him to have a schedule to spend time with his daughter when she moved to Utah. But like always, he didn't follow through. He instead came up with lies to stop his ex-wife from moving away from Flagstaff. Now Christine decided to take matters to court. She just filed a lawsuit against Cody demanding child support for Truly and also a paternity test. Sister Wives fans must know how Christine married Cody spiritually so her kids don't have their father's name on their birth certificate. So once she proves Truly is his, he will be bound to paying her child support. Cody agreed toe the test as well. Sister Wives, Christine will benefit from Cody's house sale money. Here's how. It was 2019 when Robin and Cody purchased their Flagstaff home for $890,000, so when they attempted to sell it for $1.6 million first, it would lead to a profit of $710,000. However, they ended up selling the place for an even bigger price, e $1.8 million. This means that they earned an additional $200,000, making their total profit $910,000. 
However, Sister Wives fans believe that Cody and Robin Brown will not use these funds. As mentioned before, the former is waiting to battle it out in court with his ex-wife, Christine. She will come after him and make him pay child support funds, which have been pending since 2021, the year of their divorce. At the same time, hiring an attorney to fight Cody's case would also require heavy funds, so he will most definitely be using the funds for that. All in all, it is fair to say that fans believe Christine will heavily benefit from this sale. Some are seeing Janelle on the show asking her ex-husband to buy her out from the Coyote Pass land. Some demand he should do so. When Cody resorts to paying off the ex-wives, he and Robin will likely have any money left for themselves they got from the profit. At the same time, they have to take care of their mortgage of their new $2 million home. However, Sister wives Janelle Brown reflects on her first marriage to Mary Brown's brother Adam Barber. Before Sister Wives star Janelle Brown was married to Cody Brown, she was married to Mary Brown's brother Adam Barber. However, the mom of six said that in the end, the marriage just didn't take. It was very, very short-lived. Janelle, 55, explained during a guest appearance on The Real Life with Kate Casey podcast on Tuesday, November 5. When Kate joked that many people have starter marriages, Janelle agreed. It probably really qualifies as that, Janelle replied. I think we might have lived together physically, actually lived together, for, like, six months. Kate also asked Janelle if it was uncomfortable when she met Cody, 55, and he was married to her ex-husband's sister, Mary, 53. I was not at Mary's house frequently. I was there occasionally and I just happened to be there one time when Cody came and I was already intrigued with the faith. It represented something that was more dynamic or something that was more robust than the faith I had, Janelle said. When I met Cody just in passing, Mary introduced us. I go, oh, I had sort of a feeling. Like, oh there you are. The reality star didn't immediately start a relationship with Cody and actually dated other people during the time between her divorce from Adam and her eventual marriage to Cody. Janelle revealed that she actually went on double dates with Mary and Cody at times when she was dating these other men. It wasn't until two years, maybe more, later that Cody and I actually married. I knew Mary and Cody as friends. I had other relationships and boyfriends. Sometimes we did double date, Janelle continued, they were always my token polygamist friends, I was 20, it felt cool to have unique friends. Janelle also revealed that she began investigating the religion and Mary's mother was a really great resource for her. She was such an amazing woman, so I kind of started to study with her and other ladies that were in the faith, Janelle shared. I pretty much had made the decision to join the faith, you know there's a lot of prayer involved. There's a lot of channels you have to go through, it's a very proper process. When Janelle realized that there might be something more with the dad at 18 and decided to pursue things, she described it as a very old-fashioned courtship. Janelle's marriage to Adam wasn't her only connection to Cody before she officially became one of his wives. Her mother, Cheryl Brown, was married to Cody's dad, William Wynne Brown, until his death in 2013. Cody and Janelle were technically step-siblings, and she opened up about her unusual family tree during an episode of Sister Wives in 2013. Before Cody and I were really courting, I was actually friends with his family. My mom was worried I was getting sucked into some polygamous cult, but she ended up meeting Cody's dad and they ended up falling in love and getting married before Cody and I started courting, the reality star said. Cody and Janelle tied the knot in 1993 and welcomed six children together. However, in 2022, Janelle announced her split from Cody. However, Sister Wives was it Christine Brown rushing David? Was Sister Wives star Christine Brown Woolley rushing her now husband, David Woolley, into marriage, or was it possibly the other way around? She just seemed overly eager to marry him, essentially from the moment they had their first date. Yet, was he encouraging the speediness of the romance as much as she was, maybe more? Was it Christine Brown rushing David? When Christine Brown Woolley left Cody Brown and the plural family in early 2021, she was eager to experience single life. She was ready to see what was out there for her and wanted to date. All she ever knew was Cody as he was the first and only man she had ever been with. So Christine was excited about the possibilities ahead of her despite what Cody said to her. He tried to make her believe any man that she encountered was only going to use and abuse her. 
Luckily, Christine held out hope, and that was when she met David Woolley. He had eight kids, which was great because she had six biological, but claimed her sister wives' children as well. That meant she had a total of 13 kids and was very maternal. She also had grandchildren and was incredibly family-oriented. From the moment they had their first date, Christine and David were ready for their second. Within a month or so, they were looking at wedding venues without even being engaged. Her children thought she was moving too fast, but she and David just knew. Fans feel that Christine was pushing David to get married but was it the other way around? Some Sister Wives fans feel that David might have been the eager one and started a Reddit thread. The OP broke down why he may have been ready to jump in head first. He was 59 slash 60 year old. The average age of men to die in the US is 74 slash 75 year old. It's not like he has unlimited time and Christine seemed to make him genuinely happy after being sad for a long time. It makes more sense why he was on board with quickly committing. Was it all on David? David Woolley had lost his wife and raised his children as a single parent. Yes, he had dated along the way but he loved Mobe. He noted that the woman who he took there and wanted to come back was the one he would marry. That happened to be Christine Brown Woolley. When she was ready to do it be everything and anything he wanted, of course that lit a fire in him. So what did Sister Wives fans have to say about this assessment, that maybe David was the aggressor or it was a mutual thing? Agreed this wasn't all Christine rushing. If Paul actually listened Davis was the one wanting to go look at venues and rings and then do the proposal officially, 100%. He's a widower and she spent the previous quarter century devoting herself to a family in which she received, at most, 33% of a less than mediocre man. I agree. They both, David and Christine, know what they want and they found it. In the end, it seems fans saw that they both knew instantaneously and ran with the feeling. Was that a bad thing? Only time will tell but for now, Christine and David seem very happy and that is all that matters. However, Sister Wives star Janelle Brown opens up about short-lived starter marriage to Mary Brown's brother. Janelle called Mary and Cody her token polygamist friends during an appearance on Reality Life with Kate Casey. Janelle Brown's journey to polygamy was unexpected, to say the least. The Sister Wives star was not raised in a family that practiced plural marriage. It wasn't until she got to know Mary and Cody Brown through her first husband that she began to seriously consider being married to a man with more than one wife. Janelle Brown's first husband was Mary Brown's brother. Janelle opened up about her brief first marriage during an appearance on the November 4 episode of Reality Life with Kate Casey. It was very, very short-lived. Janelle said of her relationship with Mary's brother Adam Barber. It probably qualifies as a starter marriage, she added. I think we might have lived together physically, actually lived together for like six months. It just didn't take, Janelle explained. Janelle and Adam married in 1988 and divorced in 1990. In 1993, she would Cody in a spiritual ceremony. Janelle says Cody and Mary Brown were her token polygamist friends. Janelle's first marriage was not a success, but it wasn't because she fell for Cody. The TLC personality said that it took some time for her to decide that polygamy was something she wanted to pursue. I didn't cross paths with him, Janelle said when discussing her friendship with her sister-in-law. I was not at Mary's house all the time. I mean, I was there occasionally. I just happened to be there when Cody came, and I already was intrigued with the faith, she said. After her divorce, Janelle remained friendly with Cody and Mary for several years before she decided to pursue polygamy for herself. I knew them as friends, I had other relationships and boyfriends, and sometimes we double date, they were always my token polygamist friends. I was 20, she explained. At the same time, Janelle was beginning to have conversations with Mary's mother, Bonnie Barber, who was part of a plural family with her husband, Mary's father. Mary's mother was a really great resource for me, Janelle said, I had pretty much made the decision to join the faith. It's not like Cody just cruised up one day and said, hey, she added, Janelle is happy to be single now. Janelle eventually became Cody's second wife, followed by Christine Brown in 1994 and Robin Brown in 2010. Three of those four marriages have since ended, with Janelle and Cody announcing their separation in December 2022. Now Janelle, who describes herself as independent, is happily single. For the first time in a long time, she doesn't have to put the group's needs ahead of her own. 
However, Cody and Robin Brown's house sale sparks jealousy as price doubled in five years. It's official. Cody and Robin Brown have finally sold their home. The property, located in Flagstaff, Arizona, was first listed for sale back in August. Now, over two months later, the couple is sparking jealousy as they make a pretty penny on their mansion. By the looks of things, Cody Brown and his last remaining wife, Robin Brown, are ready for new beginnings as their home sells this November. The sister wives stars own the home for five years after purchasing it in 2019 for $890,000. During the time it was listed, Cody seemed desperate to sell the property, at one time reportedly slashing its price to $949,000. But they've now made a profit on the house. Cody and Robin finally sell their Arizona mansion. Since listing their Arizona home for sale back on August 29, Robin and Cody now have cause to celebrate as it's officially been sold. The Sister Wives stars reportedly stopped the price at one stage to just under $950,000 per realtor, but they've made a huge profit on the property by holding out as it sells for almost $1.8 million this November. Per Zillow, the property, featuring five bathrooms and four bedrooms, sold on November 4 for $1,775,000. Given how the house was bought for $890, its value doubled in the past five years. Sister Wives star sparked jealousy and rage. During Sister Wives season 19, TLC viewers see the Brown family dynamic totally change from the show's early days. Cody and Robin are experiencing some difficulties in their marriage, and Christine Brown is moving on with David Woolley. Cody's former wives are now living in houses away from him and some are expecting their share in the Arizona property to be coming their way. Many fans take to a Reddit thread to bring this up now that the home has been sold. One writes, Good, now they can give the others their fair share. However, Sister Wives, Christine Brown's face is changing after extraordinary weight loss milestone, her recent transformation in jaw-dropping pictures. Christine Brown from Sister Wives has undergone a significant transformation in her physique, particularly in her facial features, following an impressive weight loss. Christine first appeared on the show in 2010 and struggled to find her place in a polygamous relationship with her then-husband, Cody Brown. Unfortunately, Christine never found happiness in Cody's polygamous family, feeling particularly jealous of his other wives, especially Robin Brown. After years of trying to improve the situation, Christine ultimately decided to end her plural marriage in November 2021, moving away from Cody and focusing on her happiness. Christine enjoyed her single life in the first year after her divorce. She lost weight and embraced her role as a social media influencer. A year later, the mom of six decided to start dating again. She entered a relationship with a middle-aged man named David Woolley and quickly became engaged to him. In the same year, Christine introduced David to her family and they bought a house together. Giving marriage another chance, in October 2023, Christine and David tied the knot in a beautiful wedding ceremony surrounded by their children and relatives. Christine began her weight loss after her youngest child was born. Christine's weight loss journey reached new heights after Cody split. Christine had a fit physique when she entered a relationship with Cody. However, her physical appearance changed due to back-to-back -back pregnancies. The TLC star found it hard to lose postpartum weight because she was constantly busy. It wasn't until after giving birth to her sixth and final child, Truly Brown, in 2010 that she could begin her fitness journey. After her last pregnancy, Christine started to focus on her health. However, she didn't see immediate results due to years of pregnancies and her responsibilities. With her children still young, she found it difficult to make time for herself. Christine dropped significant weight by October 2015. However, she struggled to change her appearance further as she hit a plateau. As years passed, Christine faced additional challenges with Cody, making it difficult to live a happy life. The stress of her failing marriage likely had an impact on her appearance, making her look exhausted. Fortunately, Christine was able to turn her life around after her split from Cody. She had the opportunity to focus on herself and decided to make changes to her fashion style and diet. Between 2022 and 2024, Christine completely transformed herself. How did Christine successfully lose weight? Christine slimmed down by tweaking her eating habits. 
Christine hasn't kept her weight loss tips a secret. During the COVID-19 pandemic, she shared that she dropped excess weight by adjusting her diet. She said, via in touch, I eat for my blood type. Christine also mentioned regular exercise helped her tone up her body and appear more youthful. In addition to her diet plan, the Sister Wives cast member revealed another weight loss secret. She wrote, My pink drink called Slim Hunger Control has been a game changer in controlling my cravings, informing others that her supplement also helped in her fitness journey. How much weight did Christine lose? Christine has shed 40 pounds in the past few years. As of 2024, Christine has lost over 40 pounds. The massive weight loss has changed every aspect of her life, from her appearance to her mood. Christine no longer lets anything dim her inner light. She is now more confident than ever and enjoys trying out new looks. The reality star no longer looks 52, but looks like someone in her 40s. Thanks to her glowing skin and flawless smile, Christine believes in taking control of her life, which has allowed her to change and become the best version of herself. Christine Halloween makeover highlights sharp jawline. Fans notice Christine's new sculpted facial features. Christine's 40-pound weight loss has completely altered her face. In October, Christine shared a clip showing her Halloween outfit. She looked healthier than ever and truly gorgeous. The video showed Christine wearing a black dress with pearl jewelry. She also sported a black muffler and minimal makeup. Christine's new look highlighted her toned facial features. It emphasized her jawline, which has become razor sharp over the last two years. The reality star's post received 21.3 likes from fans, with one stating that Christine's jawline was so sharp that it could cut paper. Christine's glowing face makes her appear more youthful. Green jersey makes Christine look sporty. Weight loss has many benefits, but the most prominent is often radiant skin. In mid-October, Christine shared a photo of herself wearing a sporty outfit. She looked fantastic, happy, and stunning. Christine's glowing face not only made her appear more beautiful, but also seemed youthful. It made her look 45 years old, close to eight years younger than her current age. The Sister Wives season 19 cast member received over 15.9 likes on her cute photo. One social media user even wrote, Awk, sporty spice. This is too cute. Someone else commented, I am living for this Christine. You radiate happiness. Christine shows slender face in before and after weight loss photo. Christine's old photo shows her exhaustion from Cody's drama. Christine's face has dramatically changed over the last two years. In November, she posted two pictures of herself, comparing her old self to her present. She discussed a weight loss supplement and wrote, I did one before we left and lost eight pounds in three days. Christine stated that she felt amazing after doing a three-day supported fast and month-long guidance and training. She added, I feel amazing and ready to enjoy my vacation. Christine concluded her post by asking fans to contact her assistant, who'll help transform their lives like hers. Christine's post highlighted the significant changes in her face since she left Cody for good. On the left side, she looked tired and less happy with heavier facial features such as a double chin, round face, and droopy cheeks. In contrast, on the right side, Christine looked much happier and content with her life. Not only did she appear leaner, but also younger. Her face looked much slimmer in the no-makeup photo on the right, with a sharp jawline and more prominent cheeks. Christine's remarkable weight loss has become an inspiration to her fans. However, Sister wives Robin and Cody Brown finally offload Flagstaff home after two months of back and forth. Cody Brown and Robin Brown have made significant headway in their Flagstaff, Arizona home sale. The Sister Wives stars have sold their home for a seven-figure sum two months after they put it on the market, thus ending all drama surrounding the property. Cody and Robin Brown, now the only married pair left on Sister Wives, initially took the property off the market early last month without closing any deal. Cody and Robin Brown closed their home deal on Monday for a huge chunk. The couple smiled to the bank as they sold the sprawling property for $1,775,000 on November 4, which is $125,000 over the initial listing at $1,650,000 on August 29.
Cody's 2007 home sits on a two-acre wooded lot tucked behind tall pine trees on a secluded ridge, according to the listing information. The Arizona 4,476-square-foot home includes five bedrooms and four bedrooms, according to the online listing. In touch gathered that the couple bought a new six-bedroom, seven-bathroom home through their trust, Whitestone Trust, in October 2024. The new property also features an additional guest house, a detached RV garage, and space to house seven cars. The couple secured a seven-figure loan for their new home purchase. Cody and Robin's expensive home upgrade came at a cost, as the blast gathered that they took out a whopping $1,680,000 to buy the $2.1 million property. The purchase came after their home was not selling as quickly as predicted forcing them to make a down payment of $420,000 and finance the rest with the huge loan. The couple's pocket-draining purchase reportedly raised questions on the true nature of their financial situation, especially amid the ongoing child support and custody lawsuit filed by Christine Brown. The sole property was initially pulled off the market by the TLC couple. Before this seven-figure juicy sale, the home was reportedly placed online at a listing price of $1,650,000 but soon disappeared with no records of sale. The removal was allegedly linked to Christine's lawsuit, although Cody and Robin have not publicly given a reason for their impromptu decision. Christine demanded the court establish her daughter Truly's paternity amid the absence of Cody's name on her birth certificate. She also requested domestic relations injunctions to restrict both parties from harassment, domestic violence, taking the children for non-routine travel without court permissions, canceling or modifying services, and demeaning or saying terrible things about the other party. The Reality Star's request also reportedly prevents both of them from engaging in some specific behaviors, financial matters, and activities. Since splitting from Cody in 2022, Truly has been living with her mother in Utah, which is very far from Cody's house in Arizona. Christine was convinced moving with Truly would help fix the father-daughter relationship. Per The Blast, insiders noted that Christine has been very concerned about Cody's growing absence in Truly's life. His prolonged paranoia about COVID-19 and other issues has also contributed to the distance between the father and daughter. Christine noted that relocating to Utah after her split from Cody would keep a healthy relationship between Cody and Truly. She added that despite the physical difficulties between the father and daughter, staying away from each other will do more good than harm to their bond. As for Cody, Christine's sentiments, despite having a complicated relationship with most of his other kids, were BS rationalization and ridiculous. Robin and Cody Brown reunited with Christine for my Kelty Padron's baby shower in Vegas. The Sister Wives star set their differences aside and attended a mini reunion as seen on the season 19 premiere of the show. The estranged couple attended the Vegas-themed baby shower of their daughter, my Kelty Padron, who was expecting twins then. According to Christine, Padron's wish for her parents to be present at the event, hence why she reached out to the Brown family patriarch. I will do anything for my Kelty, and my Kelty wants Cody and Robin at her sprinkle. So of course they can come to the sprinkle," she said as she admitted to being nervous seeing Cody and Robin together for the first time since 2021. All things being equal, Robin and Cody Brown can pay off their loan now with some change to spare following this sale. However, Janelle Brown celebrates daughter's fun birthday amid pregnancy hiding drama on Sister Wives. Janelle Brown is keeping life lively both on and off camera. Following the recent Sister Wives drama over daughter Madison's hidden pregnancy, Janelle was all shades of excited as she celebrated her daughter's birthday on Instagram. Amidst family tensions, Janelle Brown is showing fans that she and Madison are all about moving forward and embracing new beginnings. Janelle Brown pens heartfelt birthday tribute to daughter Madison. Janelle did not let a single moment slip by during Madison's birthday, celebrating the day to its fullest. The 55-year-old reflected on a memorable day together in her Instagram caption that read, Happy birthday, Madison Rose 11. Yes, I'm one day late posting, but we were having so much fun yesterday, I didn't want to stop and make a post. It was fun to spend a birthday with you for the first time in years. Here is the best wife, mom, daughter, and business partner, the TV personality enthused, 
The heartwarming five-photo post captured the special day with glimpses into their family's cherished moments. In the first slide, Madison sat focused on her laptop, while the next few images showed the two in outdoor gear, ready for adventure under autumn trees. Janelle also captured Madison's tender side as she relaxed on a beach, cradling her youngest child, and ended the series with a family shot of Madison, her husband Caleb, and Janelle all grinning at the camera. The post wrapped up with the star's light-hearted note on their bright orange outfits in the second slide. The orange is because it was hunting season and we were in the trees on the property. Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Sabrina, hope your day is so well. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.